All right, so we are going to dive right on in. Uh, today we are going to be covering Canva. We've covered this topic a little bit in the past in the group for folks that may not have seen that. Um, definitely check those out and we can, we can drop links to some of those replays later on. Uh, if you are interested, let us know in chat for the replays and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll comment back, I'll reply to it um, after this is done. Uh, but today we are specifically going to be covering Canva video ads, and this is going to be a blast. Um, the the it is so simple to create video ads with Canva. Uh, we are going to show everybody how to do that today. Uh, Derek, hello, it is good to see you. We've got Derek from Minneapolis, Minnesota. So Derek, hello, my friend. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, for those folks that haven't said it yet, we'd love to know where you are from as well. So, as I said, Canva video ads, we are going to create some very basic ads today that you can do in Canva in almost no time without having to pay a professional designer. Um, do them yourselves, easy to use templates, and uh, can definitely make a difference whether you're just posting into a feed or doing an ad specifically. They work really well whether you're using it for both. Um, so we are going to get into that today. Now, before we do that, I want to mention that this is brought to you by two different groups. We're doing these free uh, workshop series because of two different groups. And we put these on usually about three Mondays out of a month. Um, if there is a topic that you're interested in us covering, let us know in comments as well. We're always looking for new content to do uh, and new problems to solve. So the two groups that are bringing this to you today are first uh, Craig's organization, the Real Estate Technology Institute. Uh, although I should say I'm an instructor there as well. Um, so it's a, a great organization. If you are interested in learning anything about tech and marketing, um, that is the place to go. Thousands of videos, an amazing amount of content there. Uh, so definitely check out reti.us. Now, beyond that, uh, the other organization bringing this to you is my organization, Service for Life. If you're interested in building a 100% referral business where you are not chasing leads anymore, uh, but you're doing all of your business via either past clients, referrals, uh, or your sphere, let me know and uh, check out Service for Life. All right, so let's dive on into it. And before we do, I'm going to say hello. Uh, Raul, it is so good to see you from Northern Pennsylvania. Um, we have got, welcome, welcome. Awesome. All right. So we've got a bunch of people joining in. Thank you so much to everybody who is. Um, so Craig, do you want to cover, uh, a little bit about what the, the workshop is going to be today? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. So first, um, we're going to give you a quick little, and I'm saying really quick little, uh, welcome to Canva kind of overview of it. We're not going to go nuts on this because one, Canva is a pretty well-known tool at this point, uh, but also in the masterclass we're having in a few weeks, uh, we're actually, it's what, next week actually, um, we're going to go really deep into everything Canva can do and, you know, the difference between Canva free and Canva pro and a lot of the things. So uh, again, we're just going to kind of give you a little bit of an overview today um, and that way we can really kind of spend our time jumping in. Uh, to Canva and showing you, that's what we're calling the virtual field trip, and really showing you what Canva's about and how to create that digital ad that performs. And just so you guys know, that one of the reasons why, not just us, why so many people are fans of Canva, uh, is once you learn how to design anything, you let's say you learn how to design the video ad like we're doing today, you'll know how to do a flyer, a business card, anything. Like the Canva editor, is very similar no matter what you're designing. So very easy to use. Um, and again, that's what we're gonna kind of spend a little bit of time getting in here, teaching you about it. Uh, and to kind of give you a basic of what is Canva. It is probably the easiest graphic design tool you'll ever see to design just about anything you want. Whether it's your business cards, your flyers, your brochures, your postcards, your social media posts or ads, animations, videos, and a whole lot more. So again, that's why we're really kind of wanting to teach you Canva uh, because I don't know about Alex. I know I do every bit of my marketing in Canva. I mean, all of it. I mean, even every image I designed for the RATI website, I design in Canva. All my ads I use to promote my classes and events, I do in Canva. My videos, everything. It's incredible how powerful Canva is. Uh, and when it comes to what you can do in Canva, 
first of all, there's a huge library in there of pictures, animations, videos, icons, text stickers, graphic fonts, and much, much more. And you also have the ability to upload your own as well. So you can either choose stuff out of the library or upload your own for free. And just so you know, when it comes to Canva Free versus Pro, um, there's a lot of extra tools you get in Canva Pro, the paid version. But the big, the quickest, biggest thing is that huge library of pictures and videos and text stickers and all that. If you have a free Canva account, some of it's free. And if it's not, you might have to pay a dollar to buy a premium picture or a video clip, okay? If you have Canva Pro, one of the benefits is everything in the library is included. And that way you don't have to worry about, is this a premium picture or a free picture? Everything is included if you have a, if you have a Pro account. Absolutely. Uh, I see Raul saying, finally able to join you guys on one of these workshops. I love Glad it. Glad to hear it, Raul. I love it. Thank yeah, you for joining again, us, Every Raul. Monday we do either a workshop or a master class. Yep, so. exactly. So, and I was going to say, Craig, so we're going to take folks right over into um, Canva. And if you want to share your screen, we're going to be covering how to exactly, you know, step by step, how to do a video ad. You were saying before you use this for everything. I use it for almost everything. Um, there are a handful of things that Canva is not kind of is outside the realm. So like yeah. exactly what you're talking about. Like I use it for all of our advertising, like all of the graphics we do for advertising. I use it for that, uh, for vast majority of the website graphics or <clears throat> designs or things you see on social media. Uh, I use it for all that. The sort of limitations are when it comes to really advanced video editing and really advanced graphics. And what I mean by that is if you're going to be building a logo from scratch, um, which there's no real reason for you to be doing that, right? Hire somebody to do that. But Canva is not the place right. to create a logo from scratch. It's also not necessarily the place to edit a large video, a huge hour long presentation or things of that nature. Okay. Or to do all sorts of effects and so on. What it is very good at is creating templates that you can use for video. So in this case, um, what Craig's going to walk through here, and I'll, I'll obviously help out with, uh, is how to create a video ad in Canva. And these are normally pretty short, anywhere from, what is it, Craig, 10 to th eight or whatever to 30 seconds kind of a thing at, at max. You can go above 30 seconds, but the point is, like Alex saying, you're not doing a webinar in this. You're not doing... A full video. If you want to create a, a minute, two minute video commercial, you could easily do that in Canva. Absolutely. Uh, but it's, but like Alex is mentioning, it's all about template design. Um, and this, by the way, if you've never been to Canva, this is canva.com on a computer. Uh, but one of the other cool parts about Canva is they also have a mobile app for both Android and Apple devices. So Everything you can do on a computer, you could also do if you're on the road, like let's say you're in your car and want to design something very quickly to post for social media, you could do it in the app as well. But to kind of teach you guys, we're going to use Canva.com on a computer. Um, and just to kind of quickly show you, there's if you go up to the top here where it says design anything, and you'll see I'm just going to click off. And it, if I click on for you, it gives me a lot of recommendations of the kinds of stuff I typically design in here. And then you can kind of go through the different categories like presentations, social media, video that we're going to focus on in a moment. OK, print products, um, you know, because you could even do marketing materials like mugs and T-shirts and all kind of stuff, not just paper, um, different marketing things you might want to do, such as flyers or postcards. Uh, different office designs. So, like there's all these different crazy categories right. that you can look through of different things you can design. Uh, but we're going to focus, like we talked about in this workshop, on video. And you can see just in video, there's all these different video options I can choose from. And I wanted to do horizontal video, uh, which is really 16 by 9, nine orientation. Am I trying to do vertical video? Am I trying to do a video message to somebody, a video collage? There's all these different video categories I can choose from, even specific ones for specific uh, social media sites, such as am I trying to do it for YouTube versus LinkedIn versus TikTok versus Pinterest, right? So we're going to choose social video feed because that is what we promoted. We're going to teach you today. Now, I've already clicked on that just so that that tab is open. 
But as soon as you pick a category, like the social video ad, you're going to see over on the left a huge library of template designs you can choose from. So I'm just going to kind of start scrolling through here to show you how many different designs there are just in the social video ad category. So I can just start browsing through this. And by the way, as you get to the bottom, it just keeps adding more and more designs to the list. So it's not like you're limited just to that screen. But once you find a design that you like, and by the way, I skipped lunch, so those potato chips are looking good to me right now. Maybe we're going to choose that one. But you find a design that you personally like. And as you can see, I just move my mouse over it. And then you can see the animations of what that is going to be, what it's going to look like. So why don't we choose this one? Okay. So we're now going to click on that design. And you can see it's broken up into three different pages. So now I can say, yes, I want to apply all three pages. And what it very quickly does is it kind of pulls those three page designs into the screen. And I can click on the bottom and say, now let's go to page two. Now let's go to page three. And I could always add more into this if I want to. Okay, But let's go back to the first page. And this is what's so beautiful about Canva is it doesn't matter if I'm right now working on a video ad like we're doing today or if I had choosed a real estate flyer or postcard or whatever, the editor always looks the same. So whatever you click on, I just clicked on that kind of dark background. I could click on it and say, okay, what do I want to change in the background? Maybe I don't like that dark color. Maybe, maybe let's change it to a purple, okay? Or maybe let's change it to one of my company colors kind of a deal because you can also create your brand in here, which is something we teach you in the uh, masterclass next week. But you can go in and you can choose different things in the background. I could also say, okay, now let's put a little effect on it. Hmm, I like the pan. Nope. Let's do the rise. Okay. And now we've changed the kind of animation style. I click into the box with the actual video. And if maybe I just want to change the words from our kitchen to say, Yum looks good. Oops. Okay. And now I can also click on that video clip and change it to a different style of what the video clip's going to do. Now, let's just say I don't want it to be about food, right? Maybe I want it to be about an actual property. Well, now what I can do is I can click over on the left on the video tab. And now let's search for a video of a home. Okay, and now all I need to do is find a video that I like. So let's just quickly choose this one and drag it in. Okay, and now we have this video. Now Yum Looks Good doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So let's change that. And let's change that word to a darker color so it's a little bit easier to read. Okay, and now I've really made all the changes I want to that first frame. Oh, the other thing I might want to do, by the way, is I clicked on that video, and up in the top left corner, it's telling me this video is 10.6 seconds. Well, maybe I don't want the entire 10.6. Let's try to make it, let's just say about 4.1. Okay, so now we're not going to be boring with a whole 10 second video clip. We trimmed it down to a four second clip. Now I can click on the second box. Now let's again change our background color. We'll choose a different color out of my company colors. Okay, and now let's change our search to filter. Now we're just going to change the words. And make that a teeny bit wider so it fits. Oops. Hey, Craig. Craig. Yeah. I got, I got a storyline for you here. 
Slide sure. slide one is downsize, right? Right. Slide two, grow your family. Pick the, there you pick go. the young couple, right? Maybe growing your family question mark. So it's questions on both. And then last slide will be like, I'm here to help. That way you got the okay. that way you got the okay. story, right? Looking to downsize, growing your family. I'm the one to help you. Uh, either way, uh, I'm here. Yep. Um by the way, now we can see this video clip is 31 seconds. That's way too long. So let's again drop this one down to about five seconds. Okay. And by the way, in the top right corner, it's telling us our whole video right now is 12.7 seconds. Yep. So you have an idea of what you're building as you go. Now we go to frame three. And again, it already has this nice little template in here for us. We'll leave this one as black, whatever. Um, and now let's try to find. There we go. So we will drop this down to make it shorter again. We'll make that one about six seconds. And now do, our do entire we... video right now is 15 seconds. So if we want to watch it, here's what we just very quickly created. What, maybe 30 seconds of work? And by the way, I could always go back and change that song to a different song. You can do all kinds of cool things here. Um, but the idea is you pick a template and it really makes the job a whole lot easier for it. If I want to go back in and create and add another slide in, or if I want to just duplicate one and say, let's copy this slide so that way it just keeps the same effect. Okay, It's very easy. It's so easy. That's the beautiful part about Canva to create this file. Um, and then the big thing is whenever you're done, you could either say I want to download it as an MP4 file, which is a video file, or you could also say yeah, maybe I just want it as an image or an animation man, a GIF or whatever it might be. And then if I wanted to, I could also go back in and choose which pages I want it to save. Okay, so we'll do all four of them. But this would create a video file out of all four pages that I chose. So again, that's the beauty of this. And if I don't like the song it chose, or I can click on that little advertising button in the bottom, that song was actually called Advertising, crazy enough. And I could always go back in and choose a different song out of the audio library. So maybe I want to change it to this one. Now we've already changed our song, okay? So this is the beauty of Canva, is how easy everything is. Right, so why don't we I love it. open it up to any questions, anything, guys? Because I can kind of teach you or do any kind of trick you want. But the beauty of Canva is how easy it is. Yep. We'll yeah. lower that volume, by the way. It's a little bit loud. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of the well, best kind of background. One thing I want to mention there, Craig, as well, is uh, a big piece to that is how you crop the videos. So if you go to, mm -hmm. go to slide two. Sure. Instead of cropping the front of this video, where you see a bunch of the guys back, okay. try cropping it toward it, the center of it, where you see both of them walking through. Oh, you mean the two clients? The, I would say the couple, if you're talking about the size of the home. Yep. So all I did was I clicked on the crop button, and it allows me to move it around what is it I want? So I'm going to go a little bit wider now to get the full couple in. And now if I play it, we've changed our perspective just to the couple. Right. So you can see there, that makes a big difference in terms of um, what you're, how you're, 
video looks, um, you know, how it works, all that sort of stuff. And that's where you want to just sort of play with it, mess with these settings, understand how each of these things work and so on. Now, I mentioned something earlier, Craig, and I'll, I'll take you uh, us back to interview here for a second. I mentioned something earlier about the whole 8 to 10 to maybe 30 second um, video. The reason I mentioned that was because we're specifically today talking about ads. So Canva mm -hmm. definitely can do a couple minute videos like we talked about earlier. But when you're working on ads specifically, um, Facebook has sort of a bunch of different barriers for the types of video. The first one is at about eight to 10 seconds. And the second one is at about 30 seconds. And this is when you're creating ads, how they figure out who they're showing it to, um, what you're targeting against, all that sort of stuff is really, really important. So when you are creating ads inside of Canva, make sure you're doing so that in such a way that is, it is ideal for where you're sending it out. Um, we got a question from Raul. He says, would you be able to insert your company sign into the house for sale sign? So I'm going to put you back over to screen share there, Craig, but because yep. he is editing and using a video, this is where I mentioned that there are some limitations for uh, how Canva works. And what I mean by that, what I think he's saying, Craig, is you see where it says house for yeah, sale in the video, right? House. Because yeah. it's a video that's already being uploaded into Canva. Um, that is shot, edited, all that sort of stuff there. This is something that Canva doesn't do. They don't uh, do a great job of, say, editing something in where the text itself is moving. You could do it with a good bit of work where you animate the text itself at the same timing over top of the video and it becomes a whole mess. Um, but the program wasn't really meant to do that to begin with, um, is to edit stuff into this video. However, one of the options um, that you can use with this is to uh, basically set it up where um, instead of using a video in the center, you're actually just using an image. And Craig showed you the animation where it will slide into the page or move inside of the page. Um, and the image itself is a little bit easier to edit uh, in other locations before adding it to Canva. Um, and using it that way. So I hope that makes sense. But uh, but yeah, that was sort of one of the limitations we were talking about early on. This is more, yeah. think about, uh, and, and I'll put it this way, think about Canva more as a um, construction tool once you have all the building materials. Like this is where you're putting all the house together. It's not really where you're building all the pieces to a house. Um, you know, they, they, it's very good at essentially taking assembled stuff and putting that all together in a way that works really well and is very easy to use. So, is that a pretty good assessment, Craig? Yeah, it is. Now, just to kind of clarify on that, again, Canva does have this huge library of building materials. So it's not like they all have to be your materials. Um, you can, down, like I showed you, I just pulled those three video clips from their library. So it's not like you have to have all the components, you can use the library but that is the really the beauty of it. But like Alex mentioned, there are some limitations, but I don't know of any program that would allow you to change out the sign in the middle of that video, that provided video clip without, you know, kind of breaking any kind of copyright laws. Um, so, cause that is a, again, a video clip they're providing you that you can use. Right, what I mean, Craig, is like, there are templates to do that in things like Premiere Pro. Yeah. Right. But but Premiere Pro is a really advanced Adobe program that takes months, if not years, to learn how to do. It's not something that you're just going to pick up overnight. It's not something that um, it makes it very, very easy to do. It's a it's a pretty intense video editing program. So just kind of keep that in mind is, is if you're trying to go too far into video editing, uh, you probably, you know, um, I don't know, time to pay somebody for it or time to, to outsource it, something like that. And by the way, all I've been doing, if you guys have been watching, is just playing around a little bit to give this video a totally different look. Um, so 
So, for example, I've just been moving around these video clips and making more titles at the top versus just kind of having it over the video clips. Um, and just within the last few seconds, while you guys have been talking, it's like a whole new video, right? Because all I did was and just kind of show you, now you clearly have like a title at the top, a look in the downsize, growing your family, I'm here to help. Um, it's just a little bit clean up that I did very quickly. And I might want to go back and change that now to a white font instead so it kind of stands out. Okay. Um, but this is the beauty of it. Um, and if I, let's just quickly grab, I'm just going to grab anyone's logo out of my folder really quickly. Um, but here, we'll throw a Remax logo in here. And let's throw a person's picture in. I want to hear from folks in chat. It's pretty wild how easy it is to just put all this together, isn't it? Oops. One. Yeah, all I'm doing, I'm just trying to prove a point very quickly how easy this really is to use. Oops. I must cut off my own name there for a second. Um, and I'm just going to throw a fast shape in as well, just to kind of give myself a kind of a footer here. All right, so all I very quickly did was make a fast little footer. And I'm just going to copy and put it on each slide. Boom. 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 Okay. And that's how quick I just redesigned pretty much this entire video. So what I showed you a minute ago is nothing like the video right now. So let's kind of quickly take a peek at it. All right. It is. Hopefully you just saw that. Yep. Same video. I just moved a few things around. Crazy, isn't it? That's it's it's amazing how quickly you can go from I mean nothing from no start, you know, no content to having ads that you can use um day in and day out. Uh Craig, are there any other sort of tips or tricks or things like that that you want to cover? And maybe not even just with the program, but more so in creating ads or creating content or, or things of that nature? Well, I mean, the main thing is, and that's part of why I quickly went through and redesigned it. Uh, and Alex and I talked about this in previous workshops and everything when we talked about creating like YouTube thumbnails and things like that, is modern design is all about image and impact. Um, so if you've noticed, each slide that I created here is just a few words, right? It's almost let the image dominate, the video or the picture dominate, and then just kind of get, you know, small little headlines all you really want. You don't want to bog this thing down with a lot of words because people don't read these days. Um, you really want to make it about the imagery. So that's all I was kind of quickly doing was kind of decluttering it um, and making it where it's more impactful. Yeah, absolutely. So one thing I'll add to that, Craig, is um, it, it's, <laughs> it's kind of interesting. So when you say Im image and impact, um, one of the reasons we covered this topic in general and covered video ads specifically is that video and those moving images um, tend to do a little bit better than just static um, imagery. So uh, video yep. ads, moving content, things like that 
um, have better numbers on average. Uh, something like eight or what was it? Eighty percent so of the top five hundred posts on Facebook last year were video. Um, I just yeah. the list goes on and on and on as to how well content works that is video and compared to uh, static imagery. So it is definitely something well, to. Well, that, that, that that I always give out is anything you do on social media that just has words, just text, is typically ignored every time. Yep. You add a picture to that post, it improves by three times the engagement. You add a video by eight times the engagement. Wow. So. A lot more interaction with video than any other kind of posting. Absolutely. Um, so Raul says, very much a beginner at this. Can you plug these into Facebook and other social media? So you absolutely yep. can, Raul. And you know what I'm going to do here is, I think this is a perfect time um, since we're getting to this point, Craig. I'm going to put a link uh, in chat for a masterclass on Canva that we are doing uh, next week. So next Monday, a week from Monday, we are doing a, a Canva masterclass. Uh, we are covering everything end to end, how to do uh, graphics, how to create video, how to create uh, ad content, social media content, print content, you name it. We are covering it uh, next week. This is actually a, a second time. We're also going yep. to go through the difference between the free and the pro account, all the extra features you get in a pro account and how they work. Like I didn't get into too much of this, but for example, let me just quickly show you, like in a pro account, I could have taken a picture like this and said, oh, all sorry, right, Craig, remove me, the let me, background. Let me put it back onto you and there, my bad. That picture, my picture for the footer. Yep. Oh, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't realize we are That's all good, no, no, I, I put it back onto you, we're good. Yep. Um, but the example I was trying to use is, I like with a pro account, you have tools like background remover. Instead of it being a picture with a background, I can say, all right, now this is going to be my picture down on the footer instead, right? It's a little better than my little like smiling mug shot. We'll use this picture. Um, there's so many cool features that a pro account has, plus the whole library, not having to worry about what's free and paid. Um, but we're going to go through all that kind of stuff in a pro account. Absolutely. Um, so I'm going to... I want to mention okay. this one second, Craig, I'm, uh, one second. So Raul just said, planning on getting in on the masterclass. It's in my schedule, but have not registered yet. So everybody needs to know this. So today, um, prices go up. So it is $25 as of today. It is $35 as of tomorrow. So midnight tonight, they go up. Yeah. And the replay, as well as the bonuses that we give away, the templates, the the all the stuff that we, we actually ended up doing um, full sets of graphics for two different agents on the last one uh, that we did. So all of that stuff is included with the ticket cost. So you can go back and watch the replay if you are, you know, or if you miss it or whatever it is, um, and you will get all the bonuses, the templates, all that sort of stuff as well, uh, if you get in and um, book the class. So if you book today, you save a little money. And if you book ahead of time, um, you will get all of, you'll get the replay as well as the bonuses in case you're not able to make it. Uh, but it is not a replay that we're making publicly available. We're not just giving it away. We're not doing any of that stuff later. Um, these are pretty exclusive classes that we're doing. So we want to, we want to keep it to that. Yeah. Alex, if you could show my screen, screen again real quick for a second. Yep, absolutely. Just going to show you and buy the templates. Um, one of the things that we did, which we're going to provide in the master class is templates that we've already created where it's plug and play. You already have a lot of nice designs you can use. Um, so I'm sure you guys can see all these different designs. But for example, for the social media, we designed multiple different social media posts you could use where you just plug in your pictures and your logo and you're ready to go. We created templates for different videos that you can create um, for postcards and stuff like that. So if you sign up for the master class and only going to learn how to use everything, we're going to give you these templates that you yourself can then use. Okay. Just change out the little thumbnail picture to your picture, type in your name and your contact info, and you'll be able to have all these nice looking designs yourself. Can you do me a favor and click on that Shaparsky one? You did an awesome job on that one, Craig. And I, I just kind of want to show yeah, that off uh, to people. The postcard or the, the no, top, or? top right, the video top right, the square that put sorry the regular post 
Get about this one. Yeah, just click into it. I want to see it full screen. I want everybody to see it full screen. There you go. So Betsy attended our first master class, and we pre-selected her. She had no idea she was getting this, but we gave her all these designs that she would already. She didn't have to plug in her picture and everything. We kind of chose her as our guinea pig. Um, but the, this is just the social media graphic category of the templates, right? And it kind of gives you an idea of what a finished uh, product looked like once you put your picture and in your info. Uh, but she was able to go home and start using these right away. If I go back to, let's say, um, the video design, and again, we created templates for videos for you as well, which you would get, it's the same deal, like where you already have your own little template ready to go for video. Pretty awesome, isn't it? I love it. Raul says, we'll do so right after this. So, got it. Raul's signing up. I love it. Sir. Um, so I'm going to put in the link one more time here, um, to attend the Canva masterclass. So the link is right there. Uh, I dropped it in chat for everybody. So we are good to go. Um, all right. So let's, uh, let's, uh, you know what, before we close down here today, let me, um, ask, does anybody have questions? Are there questions about how to create a video ad? Uh, what type of content might work best for those video ads? Anything that um, you have questions about All for right. this. Derek, hey, Derek is registered. Ready? Let's go. I love it. I love it. It's two of my favorite people right there, too. I've known Raul for <laughs> years and years, and Derek's a good buddy of mine. This is awesome. Derek is actually also a Service for Life client. I know. He's given quite the good testimonials on it. That's true. He has. Yeah, Derek actually, he and I were talking. He had a closing last Friday. He got a new listing this Friday, and he had an offer. He got an offer accepted this Friday as well. Love it. Just, just kicking butt. All right. Well, I don't see any more questions. Um, we, I think, are going to close it down. Um, before we do that, though, I do want to mention um, that. Uh, there we go. So I do want to mention once again that these free workshops are brought to you by two groups, uh, the first of which is the Real Estate Technology Institute. If you're interested in learning um, anything to do with technology or marketing, uh, it is an awesome, awesome site. Check out reti.us. So Craig uh, does an amazing job over there. I am an instructor as well. Um, or if you are interested in um, growing your business and focusing on growing to a 100% referral business where you're getting all your, client, your uh, clients from your past clients, your friends, your sphere of influence, uh, check out Service for Life. As I mentioned, Derek in chat uses it. Um, so I'm sure he'd be happy. I'm just going to, I'm just going to say it. I'm sure he'd be happy to answer questions if, uh, if folks have any, um, awesome. All right. Well, I put the link in chat. We're going to say it one more time. Canva, uh, masterclass is 510 at 2 PM Eastern. It is a two hour class. You get access to the replay and the bonuses, um, for getting a ticket and ticket prices. Uh, are, will go up tonight. Uh, so we, this is the last day. We wanted to make sure we did this workshop prior to those ticket prices going up um, so that everybody is ready. Um, all right. So that's, I, I'm, I'm worried, Craig. I put up a poll that says, are you what ready? I put up a poll that says, are you ready to create a video ad with Canva? And we've got two yeses and two noes. Really? I, I know <laughs> for those folks that said, no, I would love to, to know what, why, what's going on. What can we answer um, to make sure that you are ready to create a video ad with Canva uh, and jump out and do it today? I'm sure it's most people. It's they got to get in there and play, get in there but and play. The, the big thing we really try to make sure you guys understand is it really is easy. You just got to get in there and play. Awesome.
All right. Well, I don't see any other questions. Um, I think we're going to close it down. Craig, is there anything else uh, you want to share with anybody before we close this down? No, no, I think we I think we did it. We actually stuck to our timeline. For I, today, I know. So. I was just about to I'm say that. <laughs> just about to say that. So, all right. Well, everybody, thank you for joining today. Uh, as always, my name is Alex Camilio, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle. Uh, I have with me, as usual on Mondays, my good friend Craig Grant, um, helping us with all sorts of uh, amazing content that Craig and I love to do every week. So thank you, Craig. As always, we greatly appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Any, any uh, closing notes from you, Craig? Um, I'll see everyone at the masterclass if you sign up. So awesome. do so. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you to everybody. Have a fantastic week and we will see you at the masterclass.